Good morning, lovelies. It is, well, Wednesday for me, Thursday for you. So how are y'all doing? Got my cup of tea going. I just came down. I'm, re I'm heading out early today. It is 8.35. I have my toast in the oven. I'm going to make a quick hummus with la left hummus avocado. No, no, there's no avocado in this. I'm out of avocado, but it's hummus, cheese, and an egg. And that's going to be our powerful breakfast because we need to get to Aldi. Because they have German things on sale, I'm going to get a couple of jars of kraut. Well, it's very inexpensive. You know, Steve wants me to make it. We've had this conversation and I hear it's kind of stinky in the house. Yeah, I'm making that. I don't want stink in here. I, I live with Steve. I already have enough stink in here. <laughs> um, so I thought... You know what? By the time you buy all this stuff to make, like, like the cabbage and stuff, it's probably cheaper for me to buy it. So we're going to see what, um, and I like the all the German selections as well. So I'm going to fry up an egg. Toast is, toast is toasty. Let's get our, I love having my pan screaming hot for my egg. Do you do too? I think it fries like right away. Doesn't sit there. They say it depends on that's how your yolk spreads better or your white if it's hot or cold. You grab an egg and our hummus. I don't need much at all of these, so hopefully I won't have spent, this is what I've left of the hummus, a small fortune there. I always use olive oil in my nonstick pan. A couple spritz because nonstick, I gave it, I, I say this too. If you want to use the, the, this, the um, spray, then go get yourself a very inexpensive nonstick pan. I used to do that and replace them. Honestly, they're not expensive. What are they like? You could probably get a decent one for 10, 12 bucks. If you go to like place like um, Ollie's, they always have them when really inexpensively. What are the odds the toast is done? I don't know. Let's check. And yes, the pile is back. You knew that was gonna happen. Ooh, perfect. So let's sit there and let's grab our plate. Let's grab our flipper. This is when I got my taste of home box. And I have another taste of, did I get a new one? No, it's on its way. <gasps> another taste of home. It's the summer one already, I think. Yeah, because I think I just did, or did I do the winter? This is the spring. I get confused. It's only four times a year. But what happens is I have it sit there and I just don't make the time to do it. So it sits there too long. So that could be it. I can't imagine this one being summer already. So we have, oh, we need our laughing cow cheese. I let my toast sit in there so it gets nice and crunchy. And maybe we'll have a little side of cottage cheese. That would be delightful. The flip wasn't perfect, but it was decent, which I always go for decent. So we're heading to Aldi. We may um, later on go on another errand. I'm not sure. I have to see what I feel like doing later. If you're not making your own hummus, I've made it very easy for you. <laughs> very simple. <laughs> and you could do half it. You don't have to do two cans. I do two cans because I have it going to um, with our friends. So yeah. Pepper on your eggy. Freshly is a mess. I'm grab that toast so it doesn't get too hard, but I like it a little bit crunchy, so I like to leave it in and heat a little bit. Perfect. And this is the Dave's Killer Bread. Three point slice. I know. People say I'm not spending three points on bread, and guess what? You don't have to. See how it happens? How this is really coming from a piece of toast to. Thing. That's how it goes here. That's how my breakfast goes. Yeah. One thing you can always pretty much find in my is candy. And I only most times use a slice. 
you know, a slice is zero points. So, I mean, you could fit in a point. I mean, big whoop a point. But honestly, I just want a smokiness. I don't want it to overpower my thingy. All right, the egg is off. We're going to spread our cheese first because I'll bring it down. Because the cheese is a very, I mean, you can't spread it on top of the hummus. It won't spread. But it'll spread on the bread. So we got our laughing cow wedge for one point. Oh, another staple in my refrigerator. I did a whole video on things like other oh, staples in my life. And yeah, this laugh, laugh, laughing cow cheese is right up there. It really is. It's just so versatile. I'm like I said, I'm not a huge cheese person, but this is like cheese and cream cheese because it's not quite as it has more of a cheese flavor than a cream cheese but a cream cheese texture so i kind of use it for both you can get flavored ones oh there's a there's one that has um pepper jack asiago oh they're just so good and our cheese let's grab a little bit of hummus look at that now i couldn't i could put seasoning on the cheese but honestly this hummus is very seasoned. I don't have to worry about eating any extra flavor. Pack them more fiber, more protein. And I might have some cases of some cottage cheese. So we're gonna put this little. I like to dice mine because and no, I didn't heat it up. You're you'd be right by saying that. Nope, it's fully cooked. I don't have to heat it. I find when it gets heated, it gets like rubber. So I do not like it. This to me is more like a smoky ham element, so. But yeah, so I just like to sprinkle it. So it's all, like, there's no big chunks that you, you know, you hate that you, you bite into and rips the whole piece of cane and bacon out. Yeah, I hate that. Ooh, I even have some pico. Oh, should we throw some pico on there? I think we shall. See, this is how you just create a fantastic meal. Just by thinking about what do I have in my pantry I need to use up? I have hummus, I got pico, if I can find the pico nuggets, unless it's already been used up. It could have been. Oh, did you see? Oh, here it is. It's up top. I only had some avocado. Now, we don't want the juicy, so we want to make sure when you pull it, you just kind of push it so it gets some of that tomato juice out of there because it'll make it a little bit soggy. So we're just going to sprinkle it. The peppers and the tomatoes and the onion are absolutely perfection. I don't want to be good. You don't want anything to overpower anybody else. They're all co-stars. The star of this show is my egg. So we'll put a little, uh, let's see, let's put a little bit of pepper. Because everything is pretty seasoned. The pico is seasoned. So is the hummus. And this is Bailey waiting for his egg. So I will cut him the back end off. Because, you know, that's what mama does. And you lay that right on top. Look at that. And we will give Bailey his portion. Come here. Come here. Say hi to the guys. Hi, I want to eat my egg. Okay, we want some more pepper on top. I'll throw a little dash of salt because it is the egg and I didn't put any yet. This one talks to hit the egg. And of course, you don't know, say it be, say it for me. What am I gonna put on there? Say it. I can't hear you. You're right if you said hot sauce. You would be absolutely 150,000% right. We got Texas Pete. I'm going to do the red today. Sometimes I do the green. We can do both. What do you think? Go big or go home, right? Let's get the green one. This is the green pepper, which I absolutely love too. And this brand is Cholula. Fantastic. So is Texas Pete, but Cholula's... I think you might be able to find Cholula more you find Texas Pete in your area. I think she's this bigger. There we go. There's my breakfast this morning. How many points, Dee? That's the important thing. All right, well, let's count around together. Three points for my toast. One point for my laughing cow cheese. My hummus is zero. My Canadian bacon is zero. My pico is zero, and my egg is zero. So four points on both plans, because the toast is the same points on both plans, I do believe. So yeah, and so is the life and cow cheese. But we're gonna cut it in half so we can eat like a lady. Oh, hear that crunch. Oh yeah, oh gosh. Here's the money shot. There you go.
there is breakfast this morning. So I'm gonna go eat this and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, my lovelies on the, on the vlog day. I just came out of Aldi. I mentioned in my previous clip that I was heading there, I did my rambling on the way to Aldi. <sighs> there are days. I don't know how I get it right some days, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Aldi. This is the reason I went. German sauerkraut. Yes, please. Absolutely, there's no added sugar. And it was, I think it was, let me say, $1.29. <clears throat> I got three of them. I mean, seriously. I know. Lemons. Lemons. I got these. They scanned at three points. They sounded interesting. Turkey with cheddar, smoked turkey sauces with cheddar cheese. I thought there were 100 and... Wait a minute. 120 calories. These were the um, cheddar cheese. They have apparently they have it with pepper Monterey Jack. I would have liked those. 120 calories and nine grams of protein. Which what a great little you know dinner. And I got some nanas because you know they didn't have enough green ones. Though. I had to get them a little bit yellow. At Trader Joe's, you'll see in my haul Friday, I got some ground chicken and turkey. I'm not sure which one, but I feel like egg roll in a bowl. So. Well, I'll do chicken or turkey. I don't know. So we got those and some fun things. I got these spicy dill pickle chips for the boys. They love dill pickle chips. And they love these from Trader Joe's. But I've never seen them here. The Casa Mamita Mexican style sweet corn flavored big dipper corn chips. We love. They are of like crack. I will tell you. That's like it's so fast. So I thought I've never seen them. So I thought I'd grab them. All these, like, in Trader Joe's, I think are related somewhere along the line. And I did get some brats because it's German. It's German um, sale. So I got to get some bratwurst. Let's see how much for the bratwurst. $4.39 for one, two, three, four, five bratwurst. Got some cheese because we're all out of sliced cheese. So I got some Munster and some provolone. 60 calories, 70 calories again. It's not, you know, it might be two points a slice, but you know what? It's not that bad. We do, we are obsessing over grapes. These were, I think, two thirty nine a pound. Got some red ones, and I think it's some deli turkey. This is very controversial for some people. I mean, people think, oh my god, you should. Here's the thing: if you're gonna sit there and make a food off limits, then you're on a diet. Honestly, yes, you should limit this. Absolutely. So I have it every once in a while for lunch. The boys like it. So there's no nitrates, no added hormones or steroids, no artificial preservatives. It becomes two ounces. You get it's 60 calories, but it's nine grams of protein too. So again, not a bad option. Don't rule out any food. I guess that really irks me when, when, you, when you rule out, oh, I don't, you know, honestly, I'm not on a diet. Maybe you are. I'm not. So I eat, incorporate everything. It's down here. All right, we're headed home. <sighs> Unload this. I have a video to film. I love it. It's only 9.30. I'm already, it was busy in there. Even the lady ahead of me, she's like, I thought I'd come early to beat the crowd. They also had the um, cabbage with the, um, it's red. I think it has beets in it or something and apples. I just really wasn't in the mood for that. I, I gotta be in the mood for something. And like, yeah, I'm not in the mood for that one. So I didn't, did not grab that. All right. And I did, and I was able to find the back way in. So I was extremely happy about that. I didn't have to avoid the main drag. All right, and that's really busy in there. And I didn't go down the Isle of Doom. Now I always thought that that wasn't called that. Apparently it's, everybody calls it the Isle of Doom. There's a Facebook group called Aldi Shoppers Isle of Doom. Wow, I didn't think. But apparently it must be known as the Isle of Doom. It's like, it's like the Isle that you really don't need the crap, but you buy it anyway because it's pretty inexpensive. But yeah. I head out the back way, which is so nice that I could avoid the pike. Another pike. I know there's many pikes in my area.
but yeah I just sometimes just like to you know, I just like to drive and not be like just like to relax you know driving shouldn't be stressful so I try to find back ways around now Timmy swears up and down he can show me an easy way to get to Weight Watchers so I don't know when he's gonna have time but uh, I mean he'll be homeless so maybe the next you know maybe next week I don't think he'll have time this week because he's got to go back to New York tomorrow for some kind of this is why I'm coming this way. People just like glide to the stop sign. It says stop. It doesn't say glide. It says stop. Which means your vehicle should be at a complete and utter stop. Not like this is going to slide through because I don't see nobody. Or if they see you and don't care because they think they have the right of way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, two reason number million that I hate to drive. So when you're home, put my stuff away. Decide we're going to. I feel like having these brats tonight. They just look really good. <laughs> oh, they do. They sound really good too. We like brats. So those are one of the reasons why I got them. I was like, ooh, brats. Brats sound amazing. Cooked in beer. Yes, I've cooked my brats in beer. I mean, how much beer are you actually getting? And no, I'm not. Freeway I guy, I'm not getting a tea today. I have. A beautiful pot of tea I made at home. I have my water. Plus, I don't want to do the green tea flush too early. I have a flush maybe. I've been doing it a little bit more during the week. I did it Monday. I may do it tomorrow and Friday. Really no great hardship to have green tea though. It's not like, oh, well, I have a new tea to share with you too. I got a Trader Joe's. You'll see that on Friday's haul. The little mini Trader Joe's haul. Changing up the videos this week a little bit. Give me a little bit something, something. Something different. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm in this rut of this is what I film on this day. This video goes up on this day. I mean, I, it's nice and all. It's predictable and kind of get used to it. Maybe you even look forward to it. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm in a rut. Like, I feel like I want to challenge myself. That's why I think I'm changing up the, the, um, the Wednesday video this week. Just take, just break it up a bit, you know. Just, you know, don't want to be complacent and... I want to be. I want to challenge myself and challenge what you watch. Like, just give me some. You know, throw out something fun, something different. You know, keep you engaged. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so. Pretty. This is my. Um, should I show you my OTD? The outfit of the day. Um, they have called OTTD. Uh, it is my leggings that I got on clearance at Old Navy for two dollars. And this shirt I got at the Goodwill for like three or four dollars. This is pretty washed out though because I wear this all the time. I just think it's so comfortable and I loved it. I've had it for a while, but I do. I wear it all. You've probably seen it before. It's purple, light purple. It's just pretty. It's, it's comfy. I think it's, I think it's Walmart brand. I do believe it's a Walmart brand. I've seen it going to the Goodwill. I don't know if we'll get to it today, though. They're doing a good will. Just I've been there to see what they have, you know. I got some stuff to take, too. That's always a good, you know, I've been, I've been really, I've been purging. I have a lot of things that I, you know, that I have, like, it, it could be similar. Like, I have three different kinds of blenders. Do I need three different kinds of blenders? I don't. My ninja does it all. So I got rid of the magic bullet. I got rid of this other blender we had. I'm like, I have a ninja. I can do it all. So that's, you know, and my ninja, it's amazing. And I'm telling you, the blend jet's on the list to go. It is. What I like about the blend jet, and, uh, and that's right, is that it's small. Uh, you know, I could pop it down just to make something easy. I mean, getting the ninja, the little, I have a little, um, little blender bottle. Not that it's hard, but I have to take the cover off of it. I have to pull it forward. So hard, but uh, yeah, I'd grab the blend jet. So maybe I'll can imagine getting and going to go and seeing a blend jet. It's like, what? What a score! But yeah, I'm just luckily, I think I paid $16 or $17 for it at Kohl's. It was on sale and I had 30% and I had Kohl's cash, so it wound up being really inexpensive. And of course, as soon as I bought it, they came out with a new blend jet. I wonder why, because the old blend jet stinks. I don't like that. You know, 
especially for somebody like, and it's, they're still selling the old one so you buy it not realizing oh we've got new and improved and you feel like well i just got this so i just waste my money like, I hate that. I hate that. so that's on that's on the i don't know what i is on the teetering of going in the pile because and nobody has at my house has told me to keep it like there's like yeah you need to get rid of that <laughs> And the worst part about it is the stupid charging is for USB. Like, I don't know about you, but yeah, you can charge some things with USB, but what, you, what happened to the to the unplugs? Or what happened to maybe when you give, give you a USB that they give you a brick? They don't. What the heck? So I got to uh, it just, that, it's just little things like that bug me some days. It's, you know annoyance but yeah so vlog how are we doing today it's gonna be a long one i got that feeling it's gonna be a long one and i apologize now but i know a lot of you seem to enjoy the long ones so i feel like if you're enjoying them and they're getting good viewed so i can't sit there and say that they're doing bad so yes yeah, so i'm not gonna worry as much about the time well i mean i'm not gonna sit there and overdo but i'm not gonna, i've cut out things on other videos because i didn't want them to be too long I, I've cut out this portion of a video where I just vlog on the way back from our adventure and I, it was like ridiculous like the video was you know but if it gets to be too long like I don't want to keep it's, it cannot be over an hour it just can't I don't think anybody can sit there that long I mean I'm going to be happy with a 45 minute but this already is 11 minutes so if I have a lot of other footage this may hit the floor so you won't even know because we won't, we won't even have this conversation but I may go to, go to the asparagus lady. I don't know if she has strawberries today. It's every other day. And I'm not sure what every other day they're on. That's a lot. And I have to return the egg carton, guys. Egg carton. They asked for the, the people. We have people who have... Every, we've had this discussion about everybody having chickens. That's why I was going to get all the eggs. Darn it. I was going to grab it. They were $1.89 a dozen. Shoot, I was going to grab a dozen. Because I like to hard boil those and you know, keep them on hand. I might have to go back and get some more sour cream. I'll see what Steve says when he sees this. I'm like, do you need it's all you got for a dollar and should have gotten a whole case. Seriously. People would look at me strange about a whole case of sour cream, wouldn't they? <laughs> What's wrong with this girl? She likes her kraut. But uh, we're making pizza. I don't know if it's going to be dinner or lunch. Like a pizza pizza. We were at Trader Joe's. I went with Timmy, which meant I spent more than I should have because Timmy's there. And he saw they had this herbed garlic pizza dough. And he's like, oh, that sounds really good. I think it was like $1.89. I'm like, all right, I'm going to make pizza, you know? And I'm like, I'm going to make the pizza. What was I thinking? So I have my sauce and I do have, I got a pack of the shredded mozzarella. And I don't know where we're going to have it this afternoon or tonight. So I think it may be making the bratwurst and the pizza for dinner. Something fairly simple. And I do have, I have other kraut we can make too. They got it. I mean, they're not bratwurst. Got to have the sour kraut, I think. Brats and kraut. That's like it's like a thing. Cook them in the oh well. I can cook them in the beer or I cook them in sour kraut. Oh, well, how about beer and sour kraut? I don't know. It sounds a bit risky, but it sounds a bit good. Give that little beer umami flavor to your uh, to your kraut. Oh, that sounds really good. Actually, sounds pretty good. And maybe eat it on top of the pizza. See, I would do that. Make a sauerkraut pizza. Oh my gosh, I've done that. I've made flatbreads with with cabbage, and then you just put the pastrami on there. Oh my gosh, fantastic. I mean, I think like Nikki gets fit for that pastrami thing. I didn't know that stuff existed. It's Hillshire Farms. It's usually, it's like kind of like the turkey, like the lunch meat I got, but it's um, pastrami. And it's, you can get a decent amount for two points. And I think I've used half for my flatbread. And it's so good. And, and I put the cabbage, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it's just amazing. And that's the ideas that you need, like things like that. That's why her cookbook is why I went and put it, purchased it. Like there's just ideas in there and they're sensible ideas. They're normal ideas. It's normal food. It's stuff you get everywhere and you just, you know, reinvent it with a twist like that. 
and wow like how interesting is that and that's what keeps you on plan keeping your food interesting keeping your food like she, she you see the portions that she comes up with and these bowls are not not that bad I mean eight points for a bowl for dinner and it's a substantial bowl or even 10 points it's a substantial bowl you have she always starts with a three course of a cup of jasmine rice like right there that's a substantial amount of rice and there's people that are not eating oh no i can't eat that much rice you know you can because that's the bulk of your meal everything else is pretty low in point and fat so i mean you, you've you know if, and she's gonna be that's gonna be one of my things in the video today i'm gonna put her cookbook in this the smartness behind it you know and that's why I think I connect with her is because she just she's realistic and she's pretty smart and she's not on a diet she just lived the rest of her life this way you can't live your the rest of your life restricted yeah because it's never going to work you're gonna hit a roadblock and do we want to avoid, avoid those roadblocks yep so there went 16 minutes. This may make the cutting room floor, who knows? So if you see this, I must not have a lot of other content. Or I went, hey, it's an hour and 10 minutes. Let's just do it. So we're gonna go in and I need to film. So I will catch you for lunch. Thought I'd share my supplements that I'm taking. I always share my supplements, but I remember to film it. <laughs> um, I've been trying the detox from Motivate. Um, I stopped taking the um, other free and probiotic, the, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> um, I was just trying to try something else. Cause you know something I think you, you just build up an immunity to things, I don't know. So you take two of these and it has gotten things moving. But here's the bonus of this. You have to take these with a glass of water. So, eight ounces. I'm like, it's a win-win when you take supplements because I feel like you get the benefit of the supplement and you get the added benefit of the water. And now I'm taking my Motivated Greens, the urine peach. Cheers. People ask what these taste like. They have a peachy undertone. Do they taste greenish? A little bit. I mean, they're greens. They're not going to taste not like greens, but they make the greens palatable. Now, would I drink this leisurely? Oh no, I don't think anybody drinks their greens leisurely. I think you always kind of drink your greens down, but this makes them a little bit more palatable, having them a little bit of a peachy undertone. So another eight ounces of water, that's 16 ounces. Good start of my day. I have a greens mustache, but I thought I would just say good, something good for myself. Got my water and got in all the antioxidants of that many vegetables. You're not eating that many, unfortunately. I wish I could sit there and say, well, just eat your greens. You'll be, I don't think we eat, we're never going to eat that many. But this to me helps, gives me an added boost. So that's what I look for. Added boost helps me with the, they both do actually. The detox and the greens definitely help keep things moving. So again it's a good thing again i have 20 percent off it's no hard sell here on this channel i just like to share it so i have to go to work now back to film. we're back for lunch as promised i'm going to have a flatbread kind of wrappish kind of thing so i'm going to use the atoria family bakery cauliflower coconut which is two points on both plans I'm going to put a slice of mozzarella two points on both plans and I'm going to put some deli ham, two points on both plans. So two for six. And I'm going to put some of this Trader Joe's oil a garlic mustard. It is zero points for a teaspoon. So we're going to use that. And when in doubt, you should measure because a huge person is can. I mean, honestly, if you go over a teaspoon, it's mustard. Like I don't get that crazy about it. It's stinking mustard. But you know, I will use my spoon. It's not the correct teaspoon, but. I'm not going to use that. I'm probably going to use less, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it soft. I'm going to, and then I'm going to put it in the toaster oven. You can put it in the air fryer now. There we go. And that is going to be, it's going to give her wrap some fantastic flavor. And you can use regular mustard, but since I had this open, 
going to use it. I'm probably going to only use half. I wonder how many slices come in here. Let's see how many servings. I might even only use one point's worth because honestly, I only want, I'm going to split this with Peter. So I'm only going to use probably half the serving. So it'll cut back a point. I'll get this way. Got this from Aldi. Again, you know, I've given up worrying about, oh, it's 1.2 points. You know, it's a slice of cheese. It is only 60 calories. And we have to be eating a lot. And I think that's where the disconnect comes for a lot of people. They worry too much. And look at that. I mean, seriously. It's fine. Got that. Um, do I want to put anything else? Oh, I know what I'm going to put in. I know. Some arugula. Because I have it. Or I have the shredded lettuce. But I think arugula would go better with this. I know I have a little bit of arugula left. And arugula is peppery. Peppery lettuce. It's kind of, some places call it rocket lettuce. Or, you know, in Italian, we would call it rucola. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. And it's going to give it a nice little... I'm just going to fold it over. Put it in my toaster oven and just toast it lightly. I'll be right back. Alrighty, our wrap is all nice and toasty. See how the cheese is all melty? I'm pairing that with a bag of two point, no, one point pitos or two points on Better Balance. One on Debbie W, two on Better Balance. So it's six points on both plans. So it'd be seven points on WW and eight points on Better Balance for my lunch. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. You gotta get creative with your food. I mean, and these, oh my gosh. Like, and look what you get. That's the macros, they're 70 calories. These are so good. And you have to get to make sure they just have the crunchy, not the sweet onion, just the crunchy onion. You can get these on WW website and you can get these on Amazon. They're linked to my Amazon store all the time because I am obsessed with pitos. Just these though. I don't like the hot ones, they're more points too. These are the only ones that are a point of bag on WW. So I'm gonna go eat my lunch. And uh, oh, we're gonna, we have to go open our ear fleek for the month. Our ear flake is here and our dossier. So it's our two favorite times of the month. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go eat. And then we have Glam Squad. A lot to do. A lot to do. All right, my lovelies. It is time for an unboxing, or I should say product review slash unboxing. But it is that time of the month, not that time of the month, but for my monthly dossier. I always look so forward to this. I love Dossier. Dossier is an affordable perfume company that replicates high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price. You can get two $300 perfumes for $29, $39, or $49. I don't know about you, but honestly, every not, this is not an exaggeration. Every time I wear my Dossier, somebody says something to me. Do you smell good? What are you wearing? And honestly, I always say I'm wearing Dossier and it's fragrance that replicates such and such or such and such. And they're just like, I buy it. So, mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I got more things to spend money on than fragrances. But we all want to smell nice. Don't we? I mean, who doesn't want to smell nice? Who doesn't want to smell like expensive perfume, but not pay the price? So I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. They also offer you lovelies a 5% discount. And they all have all these like special perks when you go on there, like new purchase, new customer, and you can piggyback that discount with theirs. So it's really good. And you get multiple bottle discounts. Say you want to buy, it's Mother's Day, you want to buy for your mom or your daughter, or your, you know, you have a lot of people and you get discounts. And they're available at Walmart. So if you need a quick Mother's Day gift, it's not going to break the bank. Go to your local Walmart. They don't have all the fragrances there. They have their top fragrances there. I can't say enough. And I've had people come back to me and say, Hey, D, you're so right about Dacia. I love them too. So, I mean, this is why I keep doing them every month because they're fantastic. If I'm doing it, I like it. You know, and, and it's definitely a great place, you know, a great smell at a fraction of the price. And it's a great company to represent because their products, they speak for themselves. So what are we doing this month? Well, this one, I, this one I've done before because this is my favorite. We'll do it first. It is citrus green apple. Very minimal packaging. I love that. It's all recyclable. Oh, citrus green apple. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for Women. Ed de Toilette. This is my favorite. So if you want one that you're not sure, it's a great scent for spring and summer. It's light. It's fruity. It's fantastic. The top notes are green apple, lime, and cedrat. Middle notes are bluebell, jasmine, and rose. And base notes are amber, cedarwood, and musk. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I just love the mineral packaging. It's very sleek, sophisticated, and you can keep this in your purse because it's magnetic. It's not gonna fall off. I don't know. How many times have we exploded things in our purse? But Dossier thinks of that. I love that. But this is my, it is my favorite dossier of all time. This is the one I absolutely love. Oh, my favorite. This is this is my summer scent. I have my fact my bottle's almost empty. So I'm so excited. Oh yeah. This is me. Oh. Oh. I love it. I know, I get a little excited, I know. But you have to understand, like I I'm not spending X amount of dollars just, you know. But hey, I'll spend twenty nine dollars. Yes, ma'am. Alright, what's the next one? I guess if I can look on the card. Iconic Sense Designer Quality and No Markups. This one is called Fruit Woody Oak Moss. Inspired by Creed. Adventus for the Eau de Parfum. For to her. These are both for females. Sometimes I've um, sampled ones for men. They also have ones that are unisex, which can go either way. Um, but this one, these are both for women. Top notes, green apple, bergamot, and limon. Middle notes of peach, rose, yin-yang. And base notes of musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. I'm going to have this one. And I like this one. I'm really excited. It's cool. I'm so excited. Again, same packaging. Same metal. I mean, magnet. That's not what I would call a summer scent. It's a little bit more fall, but it's beautiful. This reminds me of weather getting cooler, so maybe fall, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it smells it's so high end. I'm telling you, you wear this, people are going to say, oh my gosh, you smell fantastic. What are you wearing? I'm wearing fruity oak moss from Dossier. So this way you could spend your money on more important things. But you know what? I love it. So I will have everything linked down below. Thank you again to Dossier for trusting me with your perfume. I love it. I'm so happy. I am. I just love, you know, when you see things repeated on this channel, it's because I truly like them. And this is something that I truly, truly like. And every month they send this to me for review. And I'm always happy to do it because it never disappoints. So absolutely fantastic. And also it's that time of the month for... I know, I know, earplink. This is a monthly subscription, it's earrings. I pay for it for the year. I think it cost me $36, it's around there for the whole year. At 12 months, you do a swipe where you, things you like, things you don't like, and then throughout the year, you get them. It winds up costing around $3.50, a month. $3, I'm telling you, you can't beat that with a stick. They also have a higher tier. I buy this on my own, they do not send this to me for review. I just love fun earrings, so I'm not going to put these on because I knew what they were because I look in my, um, they send you the little thing and I'm going to give me a little card this time. Um, I, I see what it ships, so I knew what was coming. These are going to be gifted to somebody. That's why I'm not going to put them on because I know somebody who likes cats, so she's going to get these, but they get the little retail card. This is the retail at, now do I believe that? But are they worth $3.50? You better believe it. Oh my gosh. These are so... If you're a cat lover, I mean, look at these. How stinking cute are these? I mean, look at that. It's a cat and a half moon with the stars. I mean, these are just stinking adorable. Can you? Can you? I mean, yes, they are totally. 
They're not, I mean, these are pretty sturdy, substantial earrings for $3.50. I just can't. I just can't with them. So if you have like a daughter or maybe a granddaughter, what a great gift. They even have like, a, um, they have different kinds of um, tiers, like sections, like there's fun, there's boho, there's chic. You could pick to their personality and then get a, a pair of earrings every month. Cost you 30 some, I tell you, 30 some dollars a month. It's ridiculous how inexpensive it is. And the quality is fantastic. So I absolutely love getting my ear fleek every month. It makes me excited. It's how I reward myself with fun earrings. So that's the unboxings for the vlog. Thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate it. I wanted to share the sprouts that I started last week. Here they are. They're getting there. That's the other three more days. And then I'll put them, you put them out in the sunshine, like, like a sunny part of your kitchen and they'll get real green. You can put them outside, I guess. I just leave them in a sunny part of the kitchen. And But I, they still need a few more days in the darkness. And they will absolutely get a little bit more. Let's share that. And I also wanted to say what I'm making for dinner because I don't know if I'm going to be able to film it because, you know, it's hard to film dinner here. Um, but we're going to have... You saw I went to um, Aldi. I showed you my haul. So we're going to have um, sauerkraut with the bratwurst. Yes. I'm going to cook the kraut with a beer and then throw these in to cook. That's going to be part of dinner. The other part's going to be I'm going to make, I believe I'm going to make a pizza. That'll be our bread portion because I would have normally had rolls with this. But since I'm making the pizza, that'll be our carb. So I'm going to make it just a plain pizza, I think. Like with just tomato sauce and mozzarella. Mozzarella. Light mozzarella. So I figured that's going to be dinner. I'm using the Trader Joe's, which you didn't see it yet because this haul will be up on Friday. But since you're here for the vlog, I got this ready to bake herbed pizza crust. This how good it looked. It's good. Oh, it's so good. So we're going to have that for our pizza. So I'm excited for that. And tomorrow I think we're going to make egg roll in a bowl, I think. I feel like egg roll in a bowl. No, no, I'm sorry. Steve's bringing dinner home tomorrow. Well, I might make it and have it in the fridge. We'll see what I feel like. But that's just going to be for dinner tonight. And I, I believe the bratwurst scanned at three points. I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure I scanned. No, these are not scanned at three points. I'm sorry. The smoked sausages, just, just smoked chicken ones were three points. These, I don't know what they are. But whatever, like I said, I have points for dinner. So I'm, like I said, this, this, <laughs> there's nothing there. And really, how much beer am I going to have? It's going to cook out anyway. So I'm really not concerned. I'll just, I'm just going to see what the points are per brat. Have a slice of pizza, and I'll be good to go for dinner tonight. So I definitely, I'm going into dinner with at least, uh, let's see, we have, I'm going off the top of my head, I think I have at least 13 points for dinner. So I'm good with that, plus I could go into my weeklies, I'm all right with that as well. But yes, that's what's for dinner tonight. I'm going to use a wide pan, I'm going to put the beer in, the um, sauerkraut, and then cook the brats in there. I probably should get that started soon. Maybe you can see that. Maybe I can bring the camera back because nobody's home yet. So maybe we can do that. How about how about I set it up for you? We can do that. All right. So we can do this. I have I only have three quarters of my jar of kraut. I did scan the bratwurst. Guess what? They're ten points each. Ten Weight Watcher points. Nine Better Balance Bites. So yeah, you know what? But in the end. It's, it's not going to kill anybody. That's all I think anyway. Oh my gosh, you can't have a 10 pound link. I think it, it will be fine. You know, I had a pretty good day, so I'm really not concerned. I mean, some people will be like, oh, I'm not going to eat that. No, you know what? You know, if you're not going to be able to eat stuff, I you think it's 200 points. I wouldn't have two of these, but I definitely could have one of these. That's what you have to remember. So place these around the outside. Like that, get this kraut. Maybe bury them in the kraut, that's even better. And we're gonna put her on to simmer. Low simmer, and then I will, you know, put 
put a thermometer in these little things to see if they're done, but I'm sure after a certain time they're going to be cooked. And then we're going to make this. I'm going to make that little pizza on the side for our carb. And that's dinner tonight. Now that was the halal that took me to put together. I mean, honestly, if you had like rolls, you, you don't even need a carb. I just live with a bunch of men. We need carbs. I mean, we need carbs. Gnocchi would go good on the side with this from Trader Joe's. Oh, yeah. I would love some gnocchi. But we're going to put that on right here. Oh, that's a heavy pot. Like I said, I have a little bit of sauerkraut. I'm just afraid the sauerkraut's going to disintegrate. I don't know why. So I'm going to keep some there because I want a nice big pile of sauerkraut. Yes, please. So... But thank you to Suzanne for telling me about the German sale at Aldi. So if you didn't know, all their German stuff's on sale. So all their sauerkraut, I think this was a dollar or something. They have them on the purple one too, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the purple one. <laughs> Though I like it, I just wasn't feeling it. And that's really good with um, any kind of chicken sausage or pork sausage as well. So that's awesome. Like I said, you don't have to use the beer. I just like the, the little stuff the beer gives. You know... Honestly, how much beer? I mean, it's, you can give a point or two if you want it, if it makes you feel better for the beer. I did get this at Aldi, which I don't know if I showed you guys. I think it fell to the bottom of the bag. It's this little squirt ginger. I love this. When I make my egg roll, I'll pull a squirt of this because I can't keep fresh ginger around. But I keep that in my fridge, and I wish they had a bigger one because I like the big one because I like a little ginger and a lot of things. But, yeah, so we're going to let that simmer. Maybe if we have there's nobody bothering me maybe i'll show you the pizza again i'm just going to spread the dough on the pizza pan put the the sauce i'm going to use the one from the dollar tree i'm going to finish that squeeze bottle there's still plenty in there and the cheese and that's it it's just going to be our little bread element instead of having a roll we're going to have a pizza so i don't think that's bad the sauce i don't have to worry about. i'd have to cut you know count the bread and a little bit of cheese that i may have on my piece so Thanks for starting dinner with me. We actually got it done. So this is the bratwurst and that is the pizza. Just a simple dough, simple sauce, simple cheese. Well, yeah, it's Bailey's Corner. Somebody wants to try one of his new grain-free cheeseburger flavored dog treats. Look at that. We well, have to behave. Now sit down. Sit down. Stay. Oh, he keeps his eye on him. Look at that. Keeps his eye on him. Come here. Try to do this one handed. There it is. It looks like a hamburger. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. You want your dog treat? Hey, thanks, Mom. You like that? I don't know. I don't know if there's been a treat in Venice that Bailey does not like. And if you didn't see his review on a dog shampoo, that video was out on Tuesday's What I Eat in a Day. It'll be linked at the end of the video. You got to see what Bailey thinks. See, he's got, he looks all shiny. And he tried a new dog shampoo and he gave it a review for them. Right, so right Bailey? Right? Right? You reviewed it for the people. Yeah, it's a hard job. You know, I do it again. I'm in high demand. Sit. Sit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're looking for another one, but that's all you get. You just a little dog. That's all you get. You're welcome. Say, guys, hey, say thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Well, that is it for me. I hope you liked the day we had together. I had a great time. So food we ate. I even got dinner in there to show it to you. So I'm just happy with that. So thanks again. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at District D. We are slaying our weight loss one pound at a time and building wonderful friendships along the way. I will see you tomorrow for a Trader Joe's haul. Ah, take care, my lovelies.